In a nutshell, the Settlement Defense Front thinks of themselves as the true inheritors of the solar system. They feel like their way of life is stronger, more pure. They feel like living off-world in areas where there isn't breathable air makes them more worthy of running the solar system. And uh, I think they see people of Earth as being weak, fat cats, kind of living off of the resources of these other world colonies. The Settlement Defense Front rose from a off-world resource site on Mars. The people who went to Mars to sort of mine minerals and materials, it was a good deal for them. It was the promise of a new beginning and these fascist, single-minded evildoers decided we want all of the profits of these things. And frankly, I think they're just greedy individuals who are hiding behind sort of an ideology and a mantra that motivates this evil sort of upswell. We have no precedent for this. We have no playbook for this. And apparently we have little time. Now there are a couple characters that are the face of this pressure. One of them, his name is Admiral Koch. Admiral Koch is the commander of the Olympus Mons, which is the newest, biggest, baddest, most dangerous supercarrier of the Settlement Defense Front fleet. It is really our nemesis in the game. This is the biggest ship that's ever been built. I mean, it is quite a bit larger than even the Retribution. So you think the Retribution is a massive vehicle and you see this Olympus Mons and it's kind of like the Death Star of, of, of the story. It's, it is a killing machine and it has some of the most powerful weaponry that exists to man on it. And it hunts us, it hunts Reyes and the Retribution much like Jaws hunts the boat in the movie. <laughs> 